Hello and welcome to Trouble and Shoot with Kirill. Problem today is that I suspect malfunction in my amplifier. Solution is that I will measure tube pins to find out is there correct voltage present in the amplifier. There has to be certain amount of voltage that amplifier can do its job, which is to amplify. I will use my digital multimeter direct voltage function to make this test. I shall put it into its highest level which is 1000 volts of direct voltage. I will now put on the amplifier. Normally we would wait around 20 to 30 seconds for tubes to heat up. But as the tubes are here, it is not necessary. We also see that we don't have speaker cable connected. You might ask why is it like that? Reason is that I do not have anything on my amplifier input, therefore I don't need to have anything in my amplifier output. Very logical. Do you think so? Now I shall proceed for the test. We are testing the pins number 3, 4 and 5. This probe is our ground connection, therefore I shall connect it to anywhere in the amplifier that I can get ground. We want to see two very high voltage readings and one minus reading with the smaller value of direct voltage. Then we know that this amplifier is working correctly and it is safe to put our tubes into their sockets. We start. First I will place this to this screw here and start with the pin number 3. I will count them counterclockwise starting from 1. We have 500 volts of direct voltage which is very much. Next we will have 502 volts which is also very much. Now I want to see minus reading of smaller value. We have reading of minus 58 volts which is our bias voltage. I do the same test with another socket. Starting from pin number 3, proceeding and finally to pin number 5, which is our bias voltage reading. After this test we know much more where to suspect the malfunction in our amplifier. And now I will have some coffee. Stay with Kirill and you will learn how to trouble and shoot like real professional. Начинается Родина